it's like uh, 45 degrees today, December 31st. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, let's take a look at this HOA and uh, and go from there. Go back. We're going to take a look at the form I use and uh, submit the bid. See what happens. So you see the hedgerow right there on the right. That's the beginning of the property. It's all these gray little HOAs. So we're going to bid this and it's all the way down there to the edge. So we're just going to walk. Obviously I don't need to walk the front lawns because they're, uh, they're pretty, pretty laid out. Uh, you got this property is right here. You can see all the way up there. We're going to drive up this fence line real quick. Uh, there's a new haul and stuff over there. We'll do an over the top view as well. So you can see this is all, it's all this. That strip right there is just one pass or two passes on a 36. I was going to get out and walk it guys, but there's really no point. That's literally all there is to this property. Uh, I already know what type of irrigation I'm working with. I already know uh, the grass, the, the weed type. Or, there's really no reason to get out and walk. There's nothing hidden that I can't see from the road. I just need to measure out the linear feet of the Arbovita. And uh, that's it. All we need to do now is go home and look at square footages. Refresh my memory on that. I'm not, I don't remember the square footage on that property. I'm going off the top of my head, I'm going to guess it's probably only about a half acre worth of grass. Um, I, I really don't, I don't see that really being more than a half acre worth, worth of grass. Ooh, that sun popped out. Ooh, that sun popped out. But let's go home. Let's measure out the property. Let's... Uh, Start working on the form and get this bid put in. All right, guys. What we're doing here, I had to do a voice narration. Um, I didn't have my mic hooked up. So what we're doing here is we're going to take a look in yard book and we're going to measure this property out. Right now, I'm just going to outline the entire property so we can take a look at the property we just drove by. This is an HOA. Um, 19 units is here and I'm sorry if I'm going to be kind of dragging with the way I explain things because like I said I'm just letting the video play and I'm just going to voice narrate it sounded like I was in a can before so <clears throat> I wanted to get my mic hooked back up and do this so we're looking at about 82,000 square feet on this property I believe that's where we're at it'll show here in just a second and, but obviously that's not all grass. I think the grass come out just to about 30,000 square feet. We can add that up again here. Yeah, 82,000 square feet is that entire property, almost 83. Little shy of two acres. Uh, here you can see that all the square footage is how I broke the property down. The Arbovita doesn't show any square footages. And I'm going to show you here. You go in. I did measure the linear. Sorry for the pixelated on that's going to show up in here. I'm just trying to keep addresses and emails and other account information out. But uh, <clears throat> so you can just go into different arborvitae. You can see there that 
set of arborvita even though it's pixelated is 88 linear feet so the square footage isn't a consider consideration with those then down below you can see i've got back three two one one i just throw in whatever it's just so i can measure these and keep the buildings out and the parking lot out so i'm actually getting the actual grass area of what i'm doing and i'm just going to show a couple examples i guess the largest area i don't worry about the sidewalks you can see there i measured those two um you can see the stripes from the other company and that they just mow right over and that's the way i would be doing it too the those front lawns are so small that it's just not a <laughs> It, the sidewalks are a non-issue. I'm just going to measure them. So there we're back to the 82,000 square feet total property view. And I've been trying to get this HOA for a while. Uh, I bid on it last year. I didn't get it. Uh, but it wasn't due to my bid. It was just due to communication. Uh, here is the maintenance agreement that I'm going to use. It's not a long drawn out contract. It's just going to state the services Oh, excuse me the services I'm providing on this property and you can see there's mowing weeding uh, weed eating edging blowing leaf removal trim shrubs flower beds the sprinkler turn on and off aeration overseeding and then uh, my lawn applications that was one thing they were uh, very or not I don't want to say adamant but they did want to make sure that I was going to have fertilizer and weed control in uh, my estimate this year I had it in last year but I think that was where some of the uh, breakdown in communication was so that's all it is this one page that describes my services and we should be going down to the second page here shortly I'm not sure why I'm taking so long to scroll with this there we go so now we're down on the second page and here is just showing the breakdown of uh, what I'm going to do each month. Obviously, it's an HOA, so it's a 12 month contract. And uh, as you can see in January and December, I do have leaf remo removal mark. I figured it's going to be easier to go by once a month. The, this area has a few trees, nothing really big. But if I go by once a month to get all the leaves out of the flower beds and off the lawn, there's not going to be much grass to mow. Like uh, right now, we're looking at January 7th, and it's 50-some degrees outside. Grass isn't growing, but I, I could be out working. It's, it's warm today. So I wanted to make sure that they know that I'm at least going to be on the property once a month to do something to make sure the property's looking good for the residents. Uh, here's how I'm uh, describing my rain delay, and that's just rain delay is just going to be, you know, basically I'm pushing schedules back. So if it rains on a Monday, then my Tuesday becomes my Monday. Um, with HOAs, I'm just not going to be able to, to skip like I normally would. And here's just letting her know that any unscheduled services are going to be, you know, we'll discuss a price on, say if there's a big irrigation break, obviously that's not covered in the, uh, in the regular monthly uh, price. There's where I just have a levelized monthly payment due that lets her know what, what it's going to be each month. It's, it doesn't change. And a 10% late charge on statements that are over 30 days. And then we'll scroll down to the next page and that's just her address or their address. And if, if it's a different billing address, place for them to sign, place for me to sign. Uh, and that's really it, guys. I'm not doing a big... Uh, I, I, I've played with the longer contracts and it just seems like the longer ones bring up a lot more questions. This is the same agreement that I used for my first HOA that I did this year. And I'm still waiting to hear back on them. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing a follow-up video here soon and uh, be able to discuss any feedback I received from either one of these HOAs. And if I, I there's a few more and I'm nudging trying to get the opportunity to uh, bid on i really would like to get into the smaller hoa market this year and uh, grow that way and still i'm not getting out of residential at all um, i just want to uh, do some 12 month work add that in there especially you know with employees it's just better to be able to offer something year round and uh, this is how i'm going to uh, to do that so guys thanks for watching 
I appreciate you guys taking the time to look at my channel, and uh, I will see you in the next one, guys. Thanks a lot. Later. Later.